My name is Jim Green. I'm a Christian. I'm a father, a husband, a grandfather, and a wood turner. And I love doing woodworking. But when we think about wood, it's in every aspect of our life. We use it all the time, everywhere. Our homes are made out of it, furniture's made out of it, utensils are made out of it. There's all kinds of things. And it, because it's so readily ab abundant and available, and there's so much potential to be found in a piece of wood. My inspiration comes from what's around me. I tried to make something like that. And many times it comes out differently because while I'm working on it, it evolves. The part begins to shape itself and I have to roll with the flow. Now, I've made a bowl or a platter, but it looks unique. And that's the inspiration that motivates me to do another item. Believe it or not, turning in a beautiful bowl or a vase starts with a chainsaw. I don't cut trees down just to get a piece of wood. They're, they're harvested, they're repurposed pieces of wood or logs that are left to be turned into firewood or uh, junk, chips, wood chips. Matter of fact, I got a pile of wood out front that the harvesting people went through and cut the tree limbs. I said, no, 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 let me have that. <laughs> they left that there. But then it goes from a chainsaw to a bandsaw. And I have to have a bandsaw to cut the rough shape of the piece of wood. And then I have to go to the wood lathe and use the hand chisels and the tools to do that. But then the most important tool that I use is sandpaper, believe it or not. It takes me just about as long to finish a bowl as it does to make a bowl. And so the process is long, mostly because of the finishing process that it takes to make that beautiful looking item. What am I feeling in the moment when I'm deep in my work? Intense anticipation. <laughs> the, uh, excitement. Uh, I, I get inspired. I get motivated. I, the passion starts to flow. I, I just get in the moment. And, and I just roll with it. It just, it just w one turn leads to another turn to, uh, to a process. And the excitement and anticipation on knowing what's going to be the end result. And as it evolves, I get sheer pleasure out of seeing that I actually did it again. Philosophy of life <laughs> is an interesting topic in itself. And that is to do good, share, give more than what you get, to, to love what you're doing. And that's how I got started into woodworking, is to recognize there was such potential to come out of a piece of wood that I, I was motivated by these, this, this, my philosophy of life is to do good and to share with others. Whew, what have I learned through my art? Well, patience, <laughs> uh, uh, control, personal discipline to stay steadfast and see the project through the end. Because a lot of things don't turn out and there's, a, there's a difficulty at times. And you have to believe in yourself and learn to have confidence in yourself to be able to recognize you can do this. Thank you.